how I just destroy and beat my competition and other wholesalers on my appointments in real estate wholesaling. What's up guys, Zach in here and in today's video, I share some of my secrets on how to destroy your competition on your appointments for massive success in real estate wholesaling. Before we get in the video guys, remember you need to smash that like button and subscribe and let's get in the video. So, so what are some things that newbies should be mindful of uh, moving forward? Definitely. So here, here, here's two things why so I just wanted to get this point out, but um, this is a huge plus that not a lot of people know. Jamel probably does. I mean, you probably did, but uh, eventually I think I probably would maybe get married, have kids. Um, and I've seen a lot of my friends who've had fathers and, and moms that work full time. And, you know, they're 40, 50 years old. And this is literally what life is. Kids go to school. Uh, dad comes in at 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. and he works. He has to leave at uh, 9 and he can't go to any sporting events, spend any time with the kids because he's out working all the time and he's super stressed. It's like, ah, ah, ah. Um, you see a guy like Jamel. Um, I don't know his family life like exactly, but um, I think if his daughter like wanted him to go to a recital or something like at 2 p.m., he's there. Yeah. Like he, he has the time because of the sacrifice he made in the beginning where he could spend time with his kids. Now, I don't have kids. Uh, but I know probably when I'm, if I have kids, that's probably one of the most important things out there. So I, I made the sacrifice say, Hey, that's right. with working hard in my twenties, having fun with the boys is all cool. But how much more fun would it be to have spent quality time with my kids um, at the age of 30, 40, and 50. So that's the sacrifice I chose um, sacrificing five years for, you know, 50, 60 years with my kids. So um, that's the one big plus. I don't think a lot of like, guys my age learn because they think about the short term all the time. But um, what was your question again? Sorry, I just had to get that. No, so, so, you know, what are, we talked about sacrifice. What are some of the things that oh, yeah. they should be mindful of then, you know, moving yeah, forward? So, yeah. So the one thing you got to be mindful of in these appointments is you got to think of this. There's competition. I know everyone says collaboration over competition and competition is not real. Competition is real. There is Mark Cuban says you got to act like someone is literally trying to take everything away from you every single day, a competitor. And there was about, I would say 12 wholesalers that follow me. They literally try to take my whole business away from me and they want me on the streets. Uh, so I work hard enough where I know that. So when I go to an appointment and see a seller, you got to think this, there's about four 40 year old people there. There's a guy with a big beard. There's seven year old people like still going on wholesaling appointments. And then you got me. I'm definitely the youngest crowd there. What are you going to do when there's five of those people that go on the appointment and you're the last guy? How are you going to be different? Because as you said, hey, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a young kid. How are you going to close this deal when you got all these other people going around me? So my first couple of deals, I was 18 years old. Um, got a little more facial hair now, but I, I squeak your voice a lot. I, w I wish you knew me like four years ago. It was like high pitched. It was, oh my God. So a lot of people so think you, hey, I'm you too actually, young. You, you put some bass in your voice since then, huh? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, but really, the, the difference is, I was, oh my gosh, I can't tell you. If you go to the appointment and you're like, oh, maybe the seller thinks I'm too young, maybe not work. And if you have that mindset, like maybe I'm not going to be the best and I just act like that. What's the difference between a 50-year-old and me going in? If, if you're 50 with the same mindset as a 17-year-old, like the seller's not going to like me. You're going to go there and say, hey, how's it going? You're just going to look around. You're not really going to know it much about you know, you're just going to act like you don't know a lot and you're not going to probably get the deal. I walk in there 18 years old. I remember I'm like, hi, how's it going? My name's Zach and I know this market so well. I can't wait to help you out. Complete confidence convic conviction that I'm going to get to this deal. Mm. There's nothing that's going to stop me. And this is a little ignorance. Um, you got to have a crazy ego uh, when going to these appointments. I don't have an ego personally, but when I'm on an appointment, I know everything about real estate. <laughs> There's nobody that knows more than, about me than real estate. There's nobody that's better than me at going on appointments and I'm their best friend. And it, it works really well. If you go in there as a friend that knows everything about real estate, that is literally the most confident person out there, people sense it. And look at people straight in the eyes and talk with conviction. conviction and uh, it, it's, the, it's the best. I mean, Sellers are giving me twenty thousand dollar deals at eighteen years old. Why? It's because I know how to talk to them, and I'm very confident. That's right. And you said you put in that time. You know, I'm sure you weren't like that on the first call, on the first 
you know, on the first appointment. It takes time. You're going to fall on your face, guys. The, the, the key thing is not to be afraid to make the mistakes. Improve, get better every single time, every single appointment, every single phone call you make. You should be looking to improve your quality and improve what you bring to the table. And be confident, like Zach said. You know, at the end of the day, if you're confident, the only way that you can really truly be confident is through experience and knowledge. You're gaining the knowledge through these podcasts and through my YouTube videos. And you can we'll talk about how you can get in contact with Zach as well. But you have to apply this stuff. It's, it's not going to it's not going to benefit you if you don't do. And that's exactly what Zach did. You know, he went out there and he did. And the results speak for themselves. Uh you know, and, and obviously he's successful today. Thank you so much for watching that video today. If you want more free value for wholesaling real estate, remember to smash that like button and subscribe. Guys, if you want to join the best wholesaling real estate mentorship in the planet and join the wholesaling course that has the most people in it in the history of the world for wholesaling real estate, go to freewholesaling.com. It's free. There's no gimmicks. There's no upsells in this course. It is an absolute free wholesaling course. I've been told to charge thousands and thousands of dollars for it. I give it out for free. So like this video and subscribe. Join the movement for wholesaling real estate and go to freewholesaling.com and join my Wholesaling Houses for Real Facebook group. That is the largest mastermind in the country of like-minded wholesaling entrepreneurs who want to get connected absolutely for free and learn wholesaling real estate. Guys, I'll hope to see you there. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a blessed one.